Vector Man, this is Overlord. We foresee an environmental emergency in the Fuji Sea region. Earth time, 1900 hours. Your instructions are to investigate at once, and remember, you must not reveal your other identity to anyone on the planet. Are you prepared, Specter Man? Ready. The planet Earth. The city, Tokyo. Like all cities on the face of this planet, Tokyo is losing the battle against man's deadliest enemies, waste and pollution. Despite the efforts of local and world government, the air, the sea, and the land may soon lose their ability to support life of any kind. Who will help? Spectre Man. Research and Control Squad. Hmm. I see. Excuse now, me. One I... of our field observers reports that the factory's dumping waste in Tokyo Bay again. What? Are you sure? That's what they oh, told no, me. Not again. Oh, How can they do this? I don't understand. Wait a minute, you people. There's no need to get excited. At least they're not polluting the bay now. The city council accepted our recommendation, and now they put filters in all of the pipes that lead down to the sea. So it's not serious. Everything is under control, you hear? You should know that, Otto. It was your idea. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yes, yeah, you're that's right. 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 How you're could I be such a dumb panic, jerk? Huh? Yeah, so I'm that's dumb. Right. Dumb. Yeah, he said it. I didn't. Yes. All right. Let's get down to work now. There's a great deal to do. There's pollution everywhere. And we're the agency with all of the muscle necessary to rid the world of it. The installation in the Bay Area is a breakthrough. The first in Tokyo. All over the world, there are millions of people concerned about pollution. They want to know what we're doing to bring about a cleaner world, how we can protect them. It's a difficult job. Will we do it? Yes, Chief. Hmm. Chief, you can count me in. Hmm? Oh, who are you, anyway? My name's George. Pleasure. Now, hold on. What's this all about, fella? The name's George. So what? From now on, I'm going to be working here. And this is where I'll sit. Hold on, that's my desk. Let's say it was your desk. We've got to hurry. Why? It's about to start. Huh? How's that? Chief, mm -hmm. there's going to be a disaster soon. That's why I came to join up with you, to help if I can. It's going to happen in the Fuji Sea area. We can make it just in time, but we have to leave now. Oh, hmm. uh, wow. Well, you hear what he said. Don't be so quick to judge the guy. I mean, he might know. Don't be silly. You just got a little crush. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you don't believe it. Well, you must, do you hear? There's great danger. For Tokyo. For the whole world. Chief, you've got to believe. Come on, please. Huh? Do you hear me? I'll get it. Hello? Pollution Research and Control Squad. Yes, just a moment. Here, sir. Thanks. <laughs> Hello, this is Corrado speaking. A an emergency. The Fuji area.
It makes something awful, don't it? Yeah, terrible. It smells worse than rotten oysters. It's true, you'll see. I'm telling you, we can't breathe here. Why don't you close that window, stupid? Uh, please, hurry, we need help. Please. Even all them dead fish don't make that kind of stink. Yeah, whatever it is, it ain't healthy. Hold on. Where's that kid? Who needs him? It's crazy anyway. That's what you think. I want him along. Yes, uh, I'm with the chief. You have to agree. He was right on that Fuji C thing. Huh? Yeah. Hi. Did you think I wasn't going? Gee, I really didn't see him up there. Okay, okay let's, let's go. go. I'll give the orders here. Hey, it's weird. How do you know exactly what to do? It's no big mystery. It is to us. I'd rather not tell you too much right now. I can tell you later. Why not now? I can't. We have too much riding on this. Does George know how much is at stake? Does he know about the mysterious spaceship circling above the Fuji Sea? It is not the Overlords. Who is it? Earthlings, enjoy your last days of freedom, for soon you will answer for your neglect and carelessness. And you will answer to me. Dr. Gori, the future master and sovereign of the human race. <laughs> are George and his friends helpless before the strange powers of Dr. Gori? What are his plans? How will Dr. Gori achieve his goal of mastering the Earth? Can he be stopped? We can't fish in that water. He's right. It's awful. Give me that. I'll catch a fish with this rod. Oh, there's nothing to catch. Look! Over there! Oh! What's that like? I don't know. Do you want to go see? Let's go. Come on. Okay. <laughs> you guys, look, look. Oh. Oh. Looks like a big red eye. I wonder what it is. Now let's go down to the breakwater and see what it's all about. What do you say? I thought you said all the fish in the ocean were dead. Let's go see. That might be dangerous. I don't think you should. Uh, no thanks. Chicken! Oh. Hey, hey, wait. Hey, hey, hey. That fool kid running out there. Is that Sonny? Oh, yeah. That'd be little Sammy, all right. Huh? Oh, Sammy! Soon enough? Hey, what's the matter? We'll get there too late. Huh? Look over there. What is it? Oh, oh. who knows? <laughs>
<laughs> Soon this whole world will be in our hands, Karas. The Earthlings' greed and ignorance have turned their beautiful planet into a wasteland of pollution and garbage. I shall easily conquer these fools. Although their civilization is advanced in many ways, they insist on destroying and squandering all that gives them life. Such stupidity cannot be tolerated. You agree, Carlos? Go, Hedron. Kill everything in your path. Go! Who is this strange, angry ape man who calls himself Dr. Gory? Where did he come from? The answers lie in another part of the universe, some 40,000 light years from our own sun, on a line with a constellation we call the Archer. There, in the Geisty solar system, is the planet E, the fifth planet out from its sun. Planet E is among the most civilized and sophisticated planets in the entire universe. Its technology and culture far outstrips our own Earth. The inhabitants of Planet E, ape men like Dr. Gori, were peace-loving as well as civilized. One day they chose Dr. Gori as their leader. He was a brilliant scientist with an IQ far above that any human could hope to attain. However, the citizens of Planet E had made a grave mistake, for Dr. Gori was a mutant. Gori felt that the advanced technology his world had developed was being wasted on peaceful objectives he began to design and manufacture deadly weapons with which he could overthrow the central government of his planet and then extend the domination of his kind to other worlds in the universe. Fortunately, his plan became known to the government before he could carry it out. Dr. Gori was tried and found guilty. In their society, there was no need for a death sentence. People's minds could be altered so their evil or disagreeable natures no longer existed. But an army officer named Karras helped him to escape before the sentence could be carried out. They left their solar system in a flying saucer. Dr. Gori and Karras wandered aimlessly through space for many years, until one day a magnetic storm swept their ship across space and brought them to our planet Earth. He had never seen such beauty. It was like an emerald in space. But the emerald had a flaw, one that mankind had created. The flaw was pollution. Gori realized instantly that he could use this flaw for his own ends. He created monsters that lived and fed on industrial wastes, smog, garbage, and cadmium. These monsters would help him become ruler of the planet Earth. Karas, look out there. It is just as I had planned. Hedron's deadly gases are destroying everything in his way. Everything. <laughs> Yes. These earthlings are very strange creatures indeed. Yes. They use their resources without thought for the future. They are set on destroying their own world. With Hedron, we will conquer this race of fools easily. Ah, blasted traffic. We'll never get there. Hmm. Come on now. So we'll get there a little late. Or are you suddenly going to sprout wings? Don't be funny. What if something is going on? Don't worry. I think we'd better get off this road. Hey, look over there. The sky's all red. Hmm. What do you suppose it is? I see. Did you know all this was going on? Mm -hmm. Take it easy. Watch where you're going, will you? I know. What were you guys? Sorry, Chief. Don't worry about it. Okay, everybody, let's get the car out. Right, Okay. Chief. Now push. Hey, wait a minute. Where did George go? I don't know. Where is he? George, where are George? you? George! Hey, George! 
What a nerve. If I see him again, he's fired. But you didn't even hire that joker. Oh, yes, that's very true. Nuts. Next time I'll hire him, then fire him. Specter Man. Specter Man. This is Overlord. A monster has risen out of Fuji Bay. It is now proceeding toward Mount Fuji, destroying everything in its path. The monster uses a highly corrosive and deadly gas. Assume your robot form and intercept this monster at once. Do not be seen by anyone during your transformation or your value to us will be lost and you will be terminated. We wish you good fortune on your mission, Spectre Man. Prepare to transform. Ready. What's that? Something's attacking Hedron. Oh. Earthlings cannot fly. Perhaps it's a creature from another world. Carlos, mm. you must use the ray gun. Kill the intruder. Mm. Mm. No, wait. Mm. First. We'll see what he intends to do. If he hurts Hedron, he'll die. Can Spectre Man survive the ray gun attack? Will Dr. Gorey put an end to civilization? Is Hedron mortally wounded, or will the monster continue to wreak havoc and destruction throughout the world? Can the Overlord save our friend Spectre Man, or has he given his life trying to protect our world? Find out in the next episode of Spectre Man.